What's going on guys? Justin from Flipsco here. Welcome back. Today we are not shooting a vlog. We're more just basically just uh, highlighting updates on all the cars that I have right now. You already know that we just linked up with D&D Performance Interior. These guys, Dane and just their whole staff in general is so funny, so sick, and they drift. It's drifters supporting drifters. I know there's millions of brands out there right now, but definitely support the guys, D&D. Uh, you'll understand why. We're going over their backstory. We're going to talk to these guys. Probably do like more of a podcast style. I want to go out to California and I also want to go drive with these guys as well because they do have a bunch of dope cars and they are real drifters, man. It, not many people you can actually talk to the owners and, and know the whole backstory and know about these guys actually trying to make the scene a lot better. They are in it for the grassroots of things and that's what I love is the grassroots events. So you know what? At the end of the day, these guys are coming out supporting the East Coast and uh, we'll be rocking their steering wheel in the Corvette. Uh, as for any other products that they have, they do have racing seats, they have uh, harnesses, gloves, uh, hydration packs that we're gonna go over. They are sponsoring us for this year and I'm super stoked. These guys deserve nothing but quality just like their products, super dope. Uh, as I was saying again, I got the 350 millimeter uh, suede wheel, black strip, it has like a leather strip to show you your center and the four millimeter thick aluminum that's basically you could try and bend it it's not gonna bend Ugh. nothing i'm not even gonna try and ruin this wheel because honestly it's a whole baby but honestly i don't think i could ever try to bend this thing it's made out of thick aluminum and to complement the steering wheel that they gave me they hooked me up with their spline quick release what that is it's more of their racy quick release it looks a lot better in the car it gets away from all the other brands that basically it's so gaudy and it's just ugly looking in my opinion. You do have the spline on the outside, but not many times can I actually have a wheel that's not in so, like in front of my chest. Even the 240 had it in front of my chest if I ever wanted to run a quick release with the car being caged and whatnot. It's super difficult, difficult to run these specific wheels in a drift setup, especially when you're as short as I am and I'm not running like a, like a pedal assembly, I'm not running any tilt in. What it comes down to is I have to be moved up in the seat. I gotta also clear my head on the cage. So a 50 millimeter deep um, steering wheel is perfect. It's weird to say it's light, but heavy enough to be a really, really good steering wheel. Uh, a really good grip. It's not that thick suede where I've had steering wheels like the leather and suede wheels where they kind of just get annoying and they get Number one, they don't last long, they're not durable. And number two, they just kind of feel like uh, it takes on a lot of sweat and whatnot. This is more, you know, kind of leveled down and it feels really, really good in your hands. Typically, it's a really good steering wheel. I'm starting to sound like Wolf of Wall Street selling me this pen, but this isn't like a um, infomercial regarding D&D. I just needed to shout these guys out because honestly, you guys are sleeping on it. I'm definitely gonna go pick one up, buy one for the Supra. They have the carbon Kevlar, and you know my Supra loves carbon, so I'm definitely gonna get the carbon face, and um, maybe we could run the leather wheel just for the fact that I'm not drifting. They hooked me up with two hydration packs, so you know what that means. Anytime I'm at a drift event, I'm definitely putting water, because I'm not a drinker, but I'm definitely putting water in my hydration pack. As for passenger, if Bianca or any of my friends want to get Litsky in the car, as long as they don't puke, that's the number one rule. So convenient, and when you're sitting on grid and you have no AC, especially when you know your homie spins out, takes forever, and he's smashed into a bank, and they gotta get the tow truck, and, and yada, 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 he doesn't have a tow hook. Everybody's been there and you just sit on grid and bake. All right guys, so we're back in the garage right now. Um, this is their spline race hub that we got. It looks so much cleaner and it also almost matches the sicky hydro handle, which really looks good. Probably gonna get a gold shift knob down the road. I did sell the HVAC controls and the radio cause I do want to fit a double din in there. And I also want to custom make the AC controls and everything and get it out of the way of the shifter and the hydro because I do like it and I like the setup right now it looks really clean and I like how um, it's more accessible I'm probably going to try and have to find a way to cut down this stock bring it in more because I know for a fact people are going to probably going to lose it if I hit the wipers while I'm drifting Siki Hydro D&D &D, I love the carbon fiber horn delete uh, in order to run this, you do have to run the horn delete because obviously it's a reverse spline style quick release. Driving this thing on the road and daling it probably would be really, really cool. I didn't want to put full interior back, but I'm kind of going back to that route since 
The cage situation is kind of up in the air here, but I definitely don't want carpet and stuff, but the plastic, I'm probably going to grab this, cut it here, cut this out for the hydro, make clean this all up. I want to run HVAC controls on the bottom here and then double in. Maybe I could just cut this thing out and have like an, a Tesla iPad style setup. That would be really cool shit to do. Obviously we crossed a lot out harnesses, roll cage or harness bar. Probably going to run the harness bar just to get out there this year from bumpers. We're working on it. We got a hood. We got fenders. Uh, oh, actually we're looking for fenders. So if you guys are watching this and your Corvette owners and you have C5 parts, I need front fenders, run the over, <laughs> run the fender flares. Obviously you're not even going to tell once this car is wrapped. Um, but there is a lot of, there is a lot of drift vets already. And I just need to get this car out because it's just starting to drive me crazy. Right now there's so many options that I can go with and I'm having fun guys. And I'm having fun filming videos and making this all happen for you guys. So definitely smash that like button right now and hit a, give me a comment below or something. Show some support for the kid. But yeah, guys, we need to talk. I want to give you guys a full blown update on what the heck is going on with all the cars. The super hasn't been out since clean culture. And the issue is that we had a clean culture as the car was overheating. The 2J might need to get dropped out of the Supra. There's this little plug in the back. If you're a Supra owner or a 2J owner, you would know. It's a little plug in the back, runs where the coolant is, where the heater hoses is, and there's a normal leak that usually goes from there. Every time the car starts, this ever you want to call it coolant leak is starting to piss out instead of drip out and that's just the main issue so right now i'm gonna probably bring the car to prime uh, i'm gonna talk to dimitri i'm gonna talk to raf maybe even junior make the car reliable i want it to be able to drive to every show i want to bring be able to bring it to h2o and h2o is a four hour four and a half hour drive from new jersey down south so with that being said, I definitely want to get it ready. You will have more super content. If you guys subscribe for super content, it's coming. I promise you. Obviously, you know, the RX-7 FD is sticking to the its true roots of looking like an, like an angel. And we're just going to keep it that way. We're going to keep it nice, simple. There is things that he would like to do, like a harness bar, harnesses, switch up his interior, even though the red bride seats look amazing in there. And then just add little things here and there to just make it more comfortable especially when you're driving through the city and whatnot the 370z i was having thoughts of building it i was having thoughts of slapping some nismo wheels some coilovers doing a couple of autocross events let me know in the comments below if you guys actually mess with autocross events or if you guys just want to see the vet out there drifting the 2002 i'm gonna go link up with leo over at technicar motorsports he's been super busy super swamped i don't want to bother him I've been super busy with my wedding and whatnot. So the 2002 kind of went on the back burner, but I want to let you guys know, do you want us to bring the 2002 back? I'm going to have Leo drop the motor in and set up the wiring, get it starting, but we're going to bring it to this shop when the vet's done. And I'm, the main goal, the ideal goal is to bring that car here, get it ready, get suspension modifications, get uh, interior modifications and just get the car running. Our main goal, we could trailer the Supra and the 2002 down there. Cody is definitely looking into getting something for H2O. So if he's going to have something for H2O, I should definitely have something for H2O. So definitely follow Technicar Motorsports. Let them know that you guys want to see the 2002 out at H2O. 2002, H2O, maybe my wife will drive it. That'd be sick. Those are basically the updates on what's going on. The shop's been going good. Cody and I have been really working on making everything happen for the shop. And then also the clothing brand and the line has been very, very, very awesome lately. Um, you guys have been ordering. Vinyl has been selling off the roof. So I truly appreciate all the support. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm super ecstatic about this whole new life change. Um, enjoying life with my wife and whatnot. And I, I can't thank you guys enough for making this a dream come true going on YouTube. I don't have that many subs and I don't have that many videos out, but you know what? I have the most awesome subscribers. I see you guys commenting and um, yeah, we're, we're going to find some way to do a giveaway for you guys to make sure that I give back to you guys. So I appreciate it again. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And then um, yeah, we'll talk to you guys and we'll see you guys on the next one. I appreciate it. Much love. Take care. Peace.